Hello everybody, JP from JP's Aviation here, and welcome back to another video. When you think of the 737, you most likely think of Southwest Airlines, with 736 aircraft in their fleet, all being Boeing 737 family aircraft. Currently, their fleet has three 737 variants in it, the Dash 700, the Dash 800, and the Max 8, with the Max 7 joining the fleet in 2022. The airline also has retired 274 737s, the Dash 200, the Dash 300, and the Dash 500. So how did Southwest come to operate in all 737 fleet and its entire history? And how has the 737 helped make the largest and most recognizable low-cost carrier in the world? Let's go back to 1971 when Southwest was a small state airline in Texas. The airline started operations with three 737-200s. These 737s and three more were not originally directly ordered by Southwest. Instead, they were delivery slots that were taken over by Southwest from other airlines. Southwest's first order for new 737s came in 1976 for more 737-200 aircraft. Southwest operated 54 of the 200 aircraft, which were retired in 2005. After the Airline Deregulation Act of 78, Southwest was able to open up to more markets and bring low-cost travel to the western United States. However, the 737-200 proved to be inadequate for the travel outside of Texas. This is where the 737 Classic comes into play, with a longer range and more seats. It did become the workhorse of the airline for many years and fueled the airline's expansion into the United States. Southwest also ordered the smaller 737 Next Generation variant, the 737-500. These aircraft had the same capacity as the 737-200, but had a longer range. In total, Southwest operated 220 737 Classic aircraft, 195 of the Dash 300, and 25 of the 500. After Airbus launched the A320 family, which was way more advanced than the 737 Classic family, Boeing needed to respond. They responded back with the 737 Next Generation. But the next generation was a big step up from the classic, with a longer fuselage and controls that were way more advanced than the 737 classic, making the NG almost a totally different airplane. However, Southwest still ordered 63 at the launch of the 737 next generation, with these being the 737-700. They welcomed the first 737-700 into their fleet in 1997. Over the years, the airline added more 700s into their fleet. To boost capacity even more, Southwest ordered the 737-800, with the first coming into their fleet in 2012. The airline's 737 Next Generations helped fuel more expansion and added more capacity into their fleet, letting them keep up with competitors. Southwest operates the largest 737 Next Generation fleet in the world, having 461 737-700s and 207 737-800s in their fleet. And now the newest 737, the 737 MAX. Southwest was the launch customer of the 737 MAX, ordering 150 MAX 8s in 2012. Right now, Southwest has 68 MAXs in their fleet, with 372 on order, 234 MAX 7s, and 138 MAX 8s on order. All these aircraft will be used to replace older 737 700s. So, it looks like the 737 has worked out for Southwest. With the 737's reliability and lower number of seats in some variants, it has let the airline become the largest low-cost carrier in the world. Also, the 737 has helped by beating legacy carriers with lower fares and keeping up with other newer, low-cost and ultra-low-cost airlines. Like it or not, the 737 MAX will most likely be the last 737 the airline operates, as it looks like Boeing will replace the 737 MAX with a brand new aircraft. So, let me know what you think Southwest will do after the 737. Do you think they'll switch to Airbus or go to the Boeing 737 replacement? Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time on JP's Aviation. Goodbye.